So y'all don't like redo it here, do y'all? Look here, I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad this happened. I'm glad this happened. Because I did not have a video for this week. Because I didn't watch any anime or really read any manga this week. But this, what happened on Twitter today, made me a video. So, last week, we did talk about Redo of Healer. I explained why I believe that said it was good anime. Because I've, cause I've downgraded to decent. It's a decent anime. Yes, opinions can change, but... This is going... Why do you call right, right when I'm about to start the video? I swear, I don't get bothered all day. So it's time to record a video. Now that everybody needs me. Also, since... But since... Since... Since I put out my video... Some of my... Some, some other YouTubers have put out their videos as well. The general consensus... The general consensus... Is that this anime is... Hot garbage. I disagree. The general consensus is... From you anime YouTubers and people in the anime community, is that the anime is bad, and it is okay to have opinions on it because not everybody's gonna find the same anime the same. Not everybody's even gonna watch the same anime. The hot, the hot anime this season is Attack on Titan. Everyone's saying how good it is, besides some CGI, which apparently is an overreaction. I haven't watched any of Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. I stopped watching after season... I stopped, I stopped watching during season one. But... To say... That... There's no story involved... In this anime... Is just flat out incorrect. So... Let me give you... Let me give you the backstory. The anime man. Selfish, selfish, hopeful promotion. Tweeted out January thirtieth, when is when he when his video dropped on his opinion on the show. He, along with others, call it a bad call it a bad anime. Which, fair assessment. If that's how. That's how he feels. That's how he feels. Not gonna sit here and change his mind. He's watched a shit ton more anime than I have. Probably ever will. And he made And he made some points and some points disagree. I'm just looking at Twitter and Trace Long just trending. So I put under that comment, uh, under his tweet, I said, there's an actual story. But people are only going to be focused on the rate. Which, again, I'm not surprised. I'm not blaming them, because that's a sensitive topic. But there's a method to the madness. Which, like I said in, in my previous review, of why there was so much rape. And why there is so much. It's a cause and effect. Cause this happened to the main character. The effect is he's going to do the same thing to the people who did it to him. And I even said in my video that I personally wouldn't rate Flair, but I would have rate Odu, which, which I still don't know how they're going to um, animate that because that is a that chapter fourteen is wild, which the anime man actually brings up. What he what he what him. When they, when they, and when people mention this scene, what him and other people fail to bring up is the cause of that, which I put in my last video, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to, I'm going to put spoiler here. If you watch the last video, you know, what, you know what I'm going to do. Spoilers right here. They, they always bring up. Well, in chapter fourteen, he. Turns the dude, the guard, to a chick, and has all of his men rape him, and then set the barn on fire to leave them to die. 
they all fail to they all fail to mention that the chapter 13 and chapter 12 it shows that same guard terrorizing his village raping his mother and forcing his mother to commit suicide mid-rape and having that dude still finish that's a that is a latent plot point that they miss or they just don't mention at all that they just bl that they just blow by because what happened to him as well was apparently more shocking than what he did but that's neither here nor there so anyway, I made that tweet and I actually got some I got some traction with it so the first one which I'm gonna focus on is do I, do I want to show their ads? Do I want to show their ads? That's the question. You know what? This is, you know, it's a, y'all you, made this public. This is on, this is a, this is on a public website. That's free. Y'all can, y'all see their ads. I'm not going to say them, but y'all see them on the screen. First person said, the actual, the actual history is just as bad as the ge generic isekai though. Which actually, not saying that out loud is confusing. To which I responded, I don't remember slavery, rape, and torture of the main character being generic isekai. Then I asked if there are any others, if you don't mind, because part of me is actually wondering, are there others? Or, if he's just full of shit. Because if there are others, which he, which he actually does bring up, but I'm not going to go through all those tweets. But he does, he does bring up some... And I and I said and I was and I was like, okay, you brought you brought him up. I didn't know, but I will always say the word generic is being thrown thrown out too much. Because um, let me remind you some people. Although a lot of the anime that's going to be made now was made before the pandemic. In the coming years, there's going to be a lot of what y'all want to call generic anime. Because uh, what I what I assume is, and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always open to be corrected if y'all say if I say something out of pocket. A lot of artists, as in book artists, who make mangas, just make books in general, poetry. Well, I mean poetry's probably poetry's probably high right now, but specifically ma manga makers and books and people who make books. I'm pretty sure they write their stories based on either previous um, stories or what they see out in the world. When you're in a panoramic and everyone is supposed to be staying in the house. Now, granted, not everyone stays in the house. But even when you go outside, there's really not much going on. Well, on in, well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in Japan. I don't see the news. I mean, over here we got uh, protests, riots, peaceful protests, horrible riots. People still in the Capitol building. We just had an election. Um, just recently, some cop pepper sprayed a nine-year-old girl. You know, usual American stuff. You're going to see that. Or, that shit happens in the real world, so they're going to make stuff about that. Or... They're going to see stories that they've read and be like, I can make this in a different way. Or, well, this gives me an idea. I'm going to talk about a different character with a different plot, but it'll always be similar to the main one. So, and then just the word generic in general is being thrown around. What is... Hold on a second. What? Can, let, me, let me give me the exact definition of the word generic. Generic, a characteristic characteristic of or relating to a class or group of things, not specific. So if you want to say generic as in same substance, people throw the word generic around just when it comes to isekai anime. So, in honesty, in, in isekai anime could be something completely... You can have two isekai animes that are completely different from each other. But because the tag East Sky is in there, people are, are, will automatically say generic. Which is what you see often. 
you'll see you'll see a description. So he gets blah 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 gets transported to a different world and some and before you even read the rest of it, all oh, generic. I'm not talking about because while he while this dude came here and gave me a few, and then someone else like a few days ago came and gave two more. Let me see a minute. He because he gave me. F he gave one, but he said there was no rape or slavery in it. But it was going to be, I'm going to teach people who damaged me a lesson. So it was revenge. There was a revenge one, yes. We know there's going to, there's no, we know there's revenge anime and revenge manga out there. And then some above gave two, which I haven't checked on yet. I'll have to check on those in a second. But unless they had that rape part of it, does it make it generic? That's my question. And then someone else came in here and really. Hold on, then let me see if I find this because someone else came in here and completely uh, misinterpreted what some what some said. Yeah, here we go. This person tried. This person tried to. And honestly, I think he tried. He tried to get likes here. He tried. He tried something. What to my previous when I said I don't remember rape, slavery, and torture being generic. He comes saying, "You just said people focus too much on rape and then called rape the story." Now, I am not calling rape the story. If there is a story, there are anime and manga out there that base their story. On rape. This anime redo of healer story is the revenge aspect with a little bit of PTSD that I brought up it with somebody, and I'll talk about that one in a second. But the main story here is man character wants revenge. He happens to involve rape in it. Did I put a rape warning in here before? Basically, what I say is I didn't call the rape the story. But I will say, rape is not generic. If you consider rape generic, Jesus Christ, you got you got some different you got some different type of things you need to address if you find rape in everyday life generic. Which I'm okay. Let me rephrase it. It shouldn't be generic. Does it happen? Yes. Should it happen? No. So should it be generic? No. And then you tried to. We tried to literally screenshot what I said. Like, I'm going to delete tweets. Hey, yo, I don't delete tweets. I'll just openly say if I was wrong. Like, I, like in previous tweet. I'm not going to delete a tweet. I don't know what you on what you trying trying to get involved over here. And as I said, don't... I said, I don't mind being wrong, but don't twist my words. I didn't call... I call rape gen. I didn't say rape wasn't generic. I didn't say rape was the story. Rape is not the story. People are focusing too much on it, which refers back to my previous tweet. Try to screenshot, try to screenshot, whatever. And then I had to say, because he got it wrong twice. I said, I didn't know rape was generic, which I, which I just said. That's not a story plot point. It happens, but that's not a, that's not the plot. It will come it. It kind of is the plot, but that's not the story. It just happens to what be, it happens to, let me get my words right. It happens to be what happens to the main character. It's a part of that. That's not the real story. Because if they weren't doing that, if anything, the rape that happens to him, they damn near gloss over. Kind of like most reviewers do. They damn near gloss over. They say, oh yeah, this happened too. Because in the manga, well, the manga, they actually talk about it. In the anime, from those first two up, they bring it up once. Though they bring it up big once to the main character when he first got there and the maid came in. That's what, and they, and they explain that he can suck his, take his power back after that because they explain the reason why they do it. Which well, another thing that someone else, another YouTuber did. I'm going to tangent, but I don't got a script here. I'm, I'm off the cuff. Shoot from the hip. Whoever said they don't explain why he's getting raped. 
which, incorrect, they explained it the first time, but you're too worried about what the anime girl is looking at. I'm just assuming. I could be wrong. But they, ex they explain that he, that other people who have reached their cap want to get stronger, so they rape him. They explain that once, and don't explain it again, because as a reader, you're expected to know who your target audience is and, and expect them to remember those plot points. Now, granted, with how much they put in this, you should expect, you should have probably explained that one more time, but they don't. But the aspect of the show is revenge. He could go through it without the rape, but because that's what happens to him, that's how he solves it. He gives, he gives you your receipt. Do unto others what they've done to you. I don't think that's the phrase, but that's, but that's the phrase we're going with here. Treat others how you want to be treated. And since they treated him with the utmost disrespect, I'm happy. If rape didn't happen, he wouldn't rape. He'd just up and kill. Cause he has, the, the main character has no problem killing. If rape didn't happen, he wouldn't rape. Rape happens, so that's how he gets revenge. Hey, Mini Me here with a quick disclaimer. Um, if you remember in chapter, not chapter, episode one or two, whichever one, look, I'm tired. I'm late, it's late at night, but I'm gonna talk about this anyway. If you remember then when the main character switched bodies with the guard, you remember why he did that was because the guard originally gave him 28 lash strings or 28 punches. He could have raped him then, but he didn't rape him because he believes in giving receipts. Because he didn't rape him, but just tortured him like everyone else did, he decided, well, law of equivalent exchange, since you tortured me, I'm going to switch places, make you look like me, make you get caught, and now you're the person who's going to get tortured. He could have raped him, but guess what? He never raped him, as far as the story goes, so he didn't do it. He only did that to the people who did that to him. Revenge. That's what I was trying to get at here. I need to um, start making scripts for these because I went on a tangent and lost focus. Kind of like I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, this guy right here. He said to, to my original tweet talking about people focus too much on the rape and not just on the story. He said, the story is shit I'd write when I was having my edgy phase at the age of 14. If you're thinking about and knew the specifics of rape, slavery, and drugs at the age of 14, you need a therapist not to be making a manga. You're just looking for clicks. I'm not here, and I'm not here for clicks. And if you got PTSD at age 14, first of all, I'm not shitting on anybody who has had it, because I'm pretty sure people have. And my same, the same statement would be to them, you need to find some friends you can confide, confide in, or see a therapist. Because you need someone to hug and tell you that your everything is okay. With side note, to to bring it to bring it back to the story, I'm, first of all, I'm not trying I'm not trying to downplay the real life impl implications of slavery, rape, and drugs, and having PTSD above it. I just happened to be that's happened to be a great segue back into the plot point of the show. This main character doesn't have any of that. Did I just said he doesn't have that. So when this person says the MA handles PTSD horribly. Hold on a second. He, hold on a second. he fully said internet ruins most people. So blame the internet like everyone else does. But I got over it eventually. Also, this anime, anime handles PTSD horribly. This anime handles PTSD how some people actually handle PTSD. What I'm assuming with this guy or person, look, I'm tired of y'all trying to talk to me while I'm recording. Well, this person, male or female, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who it was. I don't know who Jim I'm not gonna assume. Said he got over it. I just said I said he. I'm assuming they had 
someone to talk to about this. Or they went to therapy. At least that's what I'm assuming that if he went through um, any sort of child abuse or rape, because that is terrible. And I would be terrible, and I apologize if that ever happened to you. But I'm pretty, you had someone to talk to about it. Someone to open yourself up to. This, the main character here, has none of that. As far as, as far as I'm in. So I believe I'm, I'm still only 15 chapters in because, again, I've been, I'm gonna say I've been busy, I just haven't watched anime or read manga this week. He had, up to where I'm at, he has had no one to talk to about that. And he still has dreams and nightmares. And this is what y'all been waiting for. Y'all ready? Of what happened to him in his past life, as well as the six months he had to wait to get stronger to get his revenge. He had no one to talk to about that. The world was against him. And rather... No, there's no... The only person you could talk to about it would be the foster father and the foster mother. Those same people were killed by one of the people who tortured him for the, the six months. And maybe in the past life. They really didn't explain if that was, if that was the same guard. So... If you want to say it handled hor horribly, there are people who are handling it, handling it that way right now. That's, and that's real life. There is people, cause I just saw, I just saw a news article the other day. And you'll, and if you just go out, you, there's, this has happened more than once of the kidnappee getting revenge on their kidnapper. Or, um, someone, a third party, getting revenge on the kidnapper for what happened to the kidnappee. That's real life shit. That's not just manga. That's not just something you think of your edgy face at 14. That happens in real life. And I'm not even, I'm not even gonna talk about the people, the people who are stuck in the hood. You know them niggas have PTSD. How they handle it? My killing the opposition who honestly have nothing to do with it, just over a, over a color of flag. That's not even. That's wow. That's that's not even in the hood. That happens in your local suburbs when it comes to Black Lives Matter versus um police. Those people have PTSD. That's how they handle it. If you want to say they handle it horribly, that's how it's ha ha that's how it's handled in the real world. I don't even live my life. I don't. But I know people who do. I know people who have. I know people who change for the better. I know people who are in jail because of it. No one is saying the main character who his maker is doing is right, but that's all he knows because he has no one to talk to, so this is how he feels he needs to handle this situation. Jesus Christ. If you want to say anime is bad, that's your opinion. If someone like me comes to defend it and say it's not as bad as y'all think it is, y'all just focus on one particular plot point and are ignoring the PTSD. In fact, he has no one to talk to about it, so that's how he thinks it needs to happen, which is real life shit, again. Then don't mock someone for saying it's bad. No, let me phrase that. Don't mock, somebody, don't mock somebody for trying to defend it when you just want to jump out the window and say it's bad. No, you think it's bad. Your word is not gospel. Your word is your opinion. Yes, it is. My word is my opinion. Don't shut up me. I won't show you. I'm here to have a reasonable conversation. Y'all are on Twitter to try and get try and get clicks for likes and trying to ratio somebody. Getting a ratio does not mean you won an argument. That means you look for sympathy, and other people are like, "I want to be a troll too," and like that. But when you break it down, yes, probably lost an argument, and you didn't have an argument, so you just want to go ratio. I'm about to, I'm getting off topic. I don't know how long it is. I'm pretty sure this is just shorter than some of my other episodes. But again, I didn't have nothing to talk about today. So thank you, Twitter. Thank you, Amy Man, for except for getting for tweeting this out and giving me something to talk about. 
and having a wonderful fan base who knows a lot less than you do because you know a lot about anime and some of your fan base does not. Me included. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all have a good day.